All right, guys, welcome back to another video. What if I were to tell you you could play Fortnite on your old Mac or PC at 120 frames per second for free? That's exactly what I'm going to do in this video, guys. I'm going to show you how to get over 120 frames a second for free on your old Mac or PC Guys, you don't have to spend a dime to make this work. The only thing required is a decent connection to the internet. And when I mean decent, I'm talking 100 megabits or more per second. All right, the first thing you want to do is go to a website called speedtest.net. You're going to go ahead and run a check here to see how fast your internet connection is. As you can see, mine is over 100 megabytes per second. That is what I say is preferred for GeForce Now to work properly. Now, granted, GeForce states that you can run the program at 50 megabytes per second, but for Fortnite, I have noticed that 100 megabits per second is where you need to be at for less lag and latency. All of this is coming from a website called GeForce Now. So you're going to want to go and search GeForce Now. It's by NVIDIA. And what it is, it's an app that you download on your older Mac or PC. So you can play games like Fortnite at up to 120 frames per second or more for free. All right, you'll see that there are two plans here. One is free, costs nothing, but it only gives you one hour session. The other one is $4 a month, but it gives you a lot more than an hour. It gives you four hour sessions. You also get priority access, uh, a little bit faster speeds, etc. Guys, for $4 a month, that is so cheap compared to buying a $2,000 PC to play. If you go over to the download area, you can download the Windows version, the Mac version, or the Android version. I'm doing this on a Mac, so I'm going to be going ahead and downloading the Mac version of this application. Now that it is up and running, we're going to go ahead and check out the app and take a look at what it offers. GeForce Now is not just for Fortnite. You can play other games as well, but this review is specifically related to Fortnite Chapter 2. If you scroll up to Settings, you can go ahead and change the streaming quality. You will see that there are four streaming quality settings. Balanced, Data Saver, Competitive, and Custom. You'll notice that each of these carry a different set of details for each type of gameplay. Some run at a lower bitrate, some run at lower resolution, but the trade-off is better frame rates. In that one video you saw at the beginning, I was actually set to competitive. As you notice there, the frame rate is a minimum of 120 frames a second. It actually can go higher than that. Guys, you'll notice here, I'm running this on an old, early 2013 MacBook Pro. This computer is seven years old, and it's running Fortnite at over 120 frames per second which is amazing. Now we're going to go ahead and launch Fortnite and you're gonna be able to see how this all works. First thing it's gonna do is contact the server. What it's doing, it's actually playing Fortnite off of a server farm somewhere else and just showing you the video screen, which is pretty cool if you think about it. So that means there is a supercomputer somewhere and you're remoting into that PC and it is yours to play Fortnite on. That's essentially how this works, which is pretty awesome. That's why it is important to have a fast internet connection. Now guys, what I will say is the service has been hit or miss. And what I mean by that is it's pretty new. It's been in beta for about five years, but it just released to the public in February of 2020. I will say we're off to a little bit of a rocky start. There are times when things will get a little fuzzy or when frames will drop or when the internet connection is showing poor and not working properly. I will say I've run into a few things that were just not up to par with the experience that I was hoping for. I would like to also add that you should be playing this over Ethernet, if at all possible. Wi-Fi makes it even harder to play on at times. But for something that is free or only $5 a month, it is still an amazing option compared to not being able to play Fortnite at all. Would I say this is going to replace your Xbox, your PS4, or gaming PC? 
I don't think so yet, but I think eventually this would be a huge game changer. What I would say this is amazing and good to use for is if you're on an older Mac or PC and you cannot get near your video game system or your high performing PC. This is a great alternative to play Fortnite at a decent quality of at least 120 frames per second. I will say I'm not the best player in the world, but I noticed a lot of latency and died over and over again. This was in part because I could not get my controller to move fast enough. I tried to adjust some of the settings, it didn't seem to work. Had some fun in between all of the testing, but I still sucked more than usual. And now for comparison's sake, this is me playing on the Xbox One X. You'll notice that I've gotten a little better playing on the Xbox One X, but I'm still trash. I hope this video helped you realize that you can play this game at an amazing 120 FPS right now with some contingencies. I really think it's going to get better as time goes on, but it's free, so download it, try it out, and let me know in the comments below what you think. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yes, I got the kill, but did I? Go ahead and like and subscribe to my videos if you like the content you see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.